five cheeky marks, mate. Save this video as part of your integration revision. Now, show that this integral is a half ln two. So, we see a fraction. I see ln. I'm immediately thinking about integration by recognition, which you guys know by now, I like to make a guess, innit? So, essentially what they're implying is that this denominator differentiates to the numerator. By the moment, it doesn't look like that's the case, but we should notice that we have some double angle IDs here. So we can rewrite this. The denominator is one plus. This is the double angle ID for sawing. And on the numerator, one minus two sine squared is just the double angle ID or one of the double angle IDs for cos two X. Now we notice that the denominator differentiates to the numerator. And if you're still using a substitution here, it's not looking good, Mike. You can do it much quicker. I'm not saying you can't use it, but it's just quicker not to use it. So we can make a guess here, ln of the denominator, whenever we have fractions where the numerator is the differential of the denominator, we're guessing ln. Let's differentiate that to check. So ln reciprocates, then we differentiate the denominator to get the top. One just goes sine 2x becomes 2 cos 2x. So this integrates to this, but you can see there's no 2, so we just half both sides. So here's my integral. Now we're going to input our limits. Now we use a square bracket, right? I'm going to keep the half outside of the squared bracket. Just makes life simpler, so you don't have to keep using it. Yeah, it's just a multiplier. So now we're going to put in 0 and pi over 4. So we have a half, something in uh, pi over 4, sine of pi over 2 is 1, so you get 1 plus 1, ln of 2, minus something in 0, sine of 0 is 0, we get ln of 1, which is just 0. And there's our answer, a half ln 2. So guys, save this video as part of your integration by recognition, revision, and head to my YouTube channel, Neil Does Maths, for more difficult questions. Nice.